Your circulatory system doesn't rest. It's in action every second of your life, but is paid little attention unless you have a bad cut or need a transfusion. We may take the red stuff that runs through us for granted, but it actually does quite a lot as it works through the circulatory system. Supplies oxygen to cells and tissues. Provides nutrients to cells, such as amino acids, fatty acids, and glucose. Removes wastes such as carbon dioxide, urea, and lactic acid. Transports hormones from one part of the body to another, transmitting messages and completing important processes. Regulates acidity, pH levels, and body temperature. If nutrients and oxygen carried through the blood don't flow properly, you can expect one or more of the following symptoms of poor circulation. 1. Reduced brain performance. The brain needs 15 to 20 percent of your entire blood supply to work. If there's poor circulation and not enough blood gets to the brain, you may experience lapses in memory or lax cognition. One study showed that if the heart doesn't pump blood fast enough, a consequence is decreased flow to the brain. Over time, inadequate blood supply can result in dementia, other cognitive decline, and advanced aging of the brain in general. One way to improve blood circulation is by exercising regularly. 2. Cold hands and feet. Poor circulation is most evident in the extremities. Cold or numbness, wounds that take time to heal, brittle toenails, or bluish or cracked skin of the feet and hands can indicate they're not getting enough blood. Diabetics especially often experience poor circulation, causing pain and sometimes disability of the feet. 3. Fatigue. Just as it's hard to go about your day if you don't eat, on the microscopic level, cells don't function well if they don't receive the nutrition and oxygen they need. Your body automatically prioritizes the processes that have the greatest need for blood, like the brain and heart, and can cut back on the supply to other organs and bodily systems. Sore muscles, shortness of breath, and general fatigue is one of the most common signs of poor circulation. 4. Lack of appetite. Poor blood circulation can affect the digestive system, starting with the liver and extending into the intestines. The liver filters the blood and is also nourished by it. Additionally, blood flow is important to the entire digestive tract as plasma is created there and picks up nutrients to deliver to the rest of the body. Reduction in appetite or sudden weight loss can signal poor blood flow because the digestive system doesn't have the energy to work as hard as it must to break down food. 5. Varicose veins. Varicose veins are the most obvious physical signs of poor circulation. There are valves in veins that regulate blood flow so that it goes only in one direction, toward the heart. These valves can become weakened and leak, allowing oxygen-poor blood to flow in the wrong direction and can become visible through the skin.